questions. Well, we, get, well, we can all, always submit those for the record. I'm going to recognize myself for five minutes. Ms. Morrissey, just yesterday we heard alarming reports that eight suspected terrorist, migrant terrorists with possible ties to ISIS were arrested as part of a sting operation in Los Angeles, Philadelphia, and more notably, your New York City. According to the sources in the reporting, quote, all eight men crossed through the southern border into the U.S. and their criminal background checks came back clean when they crossed. One even used the CBP-1 app, which the Biden administration created to allow migrants to book appointments to claim asylum and enter our country. According to sources, quote, part of the investigation featured a wiretap, which revealed one of the now arrested individuals talking about bombs. One of that sources stated, request, uh, quote, remember the Boston Marathon? I'm afraid something like that might happen again or worse, end quote. To your understanding, is there a screening process uh, or background check in place for the Fort Bennett Field migrant camp to ensure that certain migrants are not threats to the surrounding communities? No, sir. There and is nothing. Up? Nothing that I know of, no. So, Ms. Williams, I, I know that when I was up there, it was going to be a man camp. Now I understand it's families, right? Correct. So, in some ways, I would say that's a little better because you had all these children, all these youth uh, activities out there, hockey, baseball, all those things, right? Uh, putting, uh, uh, I've had man camps. Uh, I'm from Wyoming, and they had oil and gas man camps, and those are not really all that fun, but I think women and children might be a little better. However, tarmac gets hot and radiates heat, doesn't it not? It does, very much so, especially Floyd Bennettville. Wow. It doesn't take very much of a resource to know that a child can get dehydrated instantaneously almost from heat, right? Especially walking from that um, tent to get the bus service off of Flatbush can be excruciating. Ms. Morrissey. Given the arrest, uh, does your concern uh, of this proximity to the migrant camp really uh, uh, support the, the police? Um, or should we be more worried about what's happening for the police in the proximity of this, this camp? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, so uh, does it concern you the proximity of this camp um, to so many in your communities and to your police department's uh, response time? Yes, it does concern me because if you read in the newspapers and see that our police forces are at low manpower already and having all these additional forces, all the migrants coming in, it's going to be a huge strain on our first responders. And also in regards, I, being a retired NYPD lieutenant, I also feel that you know, from working actually at that base, aviation, there is also a, a police site there. It's an emergency service site that our police officers come out. And I also, besides the concern of the crime and the heat from actually doing RMP um, training there, that tarmac gets very, very hot. So I know that for a fact. It is very hot on that. And as for crime, it's, it, we're, we're maxed out. There's not enough officers citywide, never mind in the smaller commands. So it is a great concern. Well, even your, the, the police may have some, some advantages or disadvantages, but it's a legal system that just that puts them back out on the floor, on the field, to create a bigger problem for you. Well, I know something about heat. In fact, my friend Andy Biggs and I were on a tarmac in Phoenix, and I know Phoenix is a little hotter than New York, but probably not much. All of a sudden we heard this ping, 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 ping. What it was was his shoes were falling apart. They were shooting off the plastic. They got so hot they just shot off. That's pretty impressive when you're talking about heat, very heat. Ms. Williams, go ahead. Mr. Chairman, can I just add, um, I mean, these are such valid points. And um, Floyd Bennett Field is four miles away from um, King's Plaza Mall that is open to the public. And, you know, we've seen in the last few months, especially during the holiday time, so many families in there panhandling, making it a very uncomfortable situation, playing at the heartstrings of families and so forth. And as a parent myself, it was very difficult to see that. Um, but as the weather get warmer as well, I mean, we can't even imagine how such a public place will be, you know, filled with so many individuals, um, you know, seeking 
you know, probably a warmer place to, yeah. to relax. Well, so. I, the last question I'm going to have, and, and what we're going to do is go to Mr. the gentleman from New York, and then the ranking member and I are going to ask you one more last question okay. instead of going a second round. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just wait. How about that? We'll just go to Mr. Esposito for five minutes from New York. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you to the committee for allowing me to wave on. Uh, Ms. Fisher, I would like to 